it was just a theory. Like gravity. Now, being a skeptic is nothing like being a cynic. Aren't you a little old for an imaginary friend? If anything, I'm optimistic. Because you can't prove a negative. You see him with his earbuds in as he walks down the hall. It's not a rap or rock and roll he loves, no, not at all. He walks along with confidence that cannot be denied. He's listening to Skeptoid or the latest Skeptic's Guide. Joe the Skeptic's catching up on the latest science news. Joe the Skeptic loves to share his scientific views. With what he knows, he's sure that he could put on quite a clinic. Yet he can't convince his friends that he's not just a cynic. Do you know what they call alternative medicine that's been proven to work? Yeah, don't be a dick. Unless you're good at it. I don't do science. Science does me. You'll find him at a party in the midst of any crowd. Especially when the arguments are getting good and loud. He takes on pseudoscience because that's what makes him tick. He'll argue till the cows come home, but he won't be a dick. Joe the skeptic makes it clear he will not suffer fools. Joe the skeptic loves to bring out skeptics tools when people think their evidence supports some kind of woo they get pissed when joe insists that it be peer reviewed neil degrasse tyson should totally run for president your headache was bound to go away no matter what you did actually that's a myth actually that's a myth actually that's a myth actually that's a myth that's a myth no actually you're wrong we should totally start our own podcast Decision skills are weak, but deep down in his heart, he will admit he's just a geek. He'll become all pointing out that your beliefs are myths, but don't you ever dare confuse a Jedi with a Sith. Joe the skeptic goes to Tam to hang out with his kind. Getting drunk with skeptics really helps him to unwind. Rejecting answers that are based on faith or woo or worse, Joe looks to science to explain our awesome universe. I want you to go to Snopes.com. Correlation does not imply causation. Fuck you. Vaccines are not a matter of your opinion. That still falls way within the bell curve. Yeah, no, I downloaded the podcast. I just haven't listened to it yet. Joe the Skeptic, 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 Joe the Skeptic. So you're a skeptic too. I doubt that. Oh, me.